हो हाय हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू या जस्ट वेट फॉर अ वाइल आई थिंक आई केम लेट टुडे अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज ऑफ टेक्निकल इयर आई केम लेट बट आई होप डेट पीपल विल ज्वाइन अस्ट नाउ सो जस्ट वेट फॉर अ वाइल आई एम वेटिंग सो फार आई कैन नॉट सी एनी बडी हियर so just wait for a while now i can see somebody has joined so hi how are you doing who are here who is here just wait for a while i think yes i came late and because of it uh, youtube will take a little bit time to send notification to everyone right so yes hi guys now people are coming Hey R I am from Bangladesh. Hey R is from Bangladesh. Thank you very much Hey R for joining me from Bangladesh. And once again we are going to have very good evening today. So uh just wait for a while. I think you know people will join us. I have come late today so because of it I think uh, notification they are getting time to get notification. Uh hello J English classes. Hello hi uh binita das hi binita how are you doing so first of all very very warm good evening to all of you and once again we are together here how are you sir somebody is asking vaita das i am doing awesome i am doing fine how are you tell me about you babita or binita whatever your name is sorry uh so can you see me properly first let me know hi guys can you see me properly can you hear me properly so please uh let me know it that you can see me properly or hear me properly uh yeah uh binita das i am going great sir okay Do, yeah, you are doing great uh, hey ar yes okay hey ar is saying yes they can hear me they can see me properly okay so yeah once again we are here in this wonderful evening today and uh i think you know like uh, i'm talking about english yes it has been 2 years now i'm coming live continuously uh, at least on every sunday yeah i have been off and on uh, with my schedule so yes i have uh, uh, been absent sometimes but most of the sunday i uh, uh, come live for you guys so yes if somebody is joining me first time then i would like to tell him that you know i come live every sunday so you can join me every sunday here and uh, yeah i especially talk about english and i talk about everything just you know i but right now this channel is all about learning english i had started my journey of learning english in uh, 2020 during lockdown and since then i'm running this channel and i'm just you know trying to motivate you trying to show the way how to improve your english and uh, thank you all of you uh, for being with me in this channel since long time Uh, you are looking very smart sir thank you somebody saying uh, hi everyone how are you uh, uh good evening to all of you once again let me start you know some basic point that uh, you already know and i don't think you know like even if you know then i have to remind you uh that how to speak english and what to do because sometimes you totally forget whatever i say is whatever i say in my sessions right so just remember one thing that if you want to improve your english then you have to work every day right three four things basic like you have to focus three four basic ingredients if you are able to focus on these ingredients i am sure that you can improve your english in very short a span of time right so now what are those ingredients okay i'm coming first is that is develop a habit of listening in english listen as much as possible listen everything in english right asokha rage raj bi raj bar good evening good evening to everyone good evening all of you so first very first step is start listening listen as much as possible because uh, you know like i think a only a good listener can be a good speaker yeah why it, it is it is true that if you are not a good listener you cannot be good speaker uh, to become a good speaker you need to be a good listener first how to start listening i have already told you method of listening and how you can start and cultivate a habit of listening uh, how can you cultivate now listen once again first choose out your 
preferred sector that you like to listen like somebody uh, an interested section like you know somebody likes movies watching movies then watch movies in english and try to listen them carefully if you love uh, uh, watching any sports and uh, then you know listen to that uh, i mean commentary of that sport right if you uh, love a spiritual you know a spiritual gurus then you can listen to lots of gurus right now available who speaks in english right if you're interested in uh, politics then there are so many good politicians who speaks good english so i mean uh, all together what i want to say you i want to say you that start listening listen to your favorite things listen to the things that you are interested in right i think right now most of the people are interested in web series you know and cinemas so like you can watch cinemas and web series with subtitle if you cannot understand you know native speakers or like speakers from different part of the world they can then you can use subtitles right but listen listen and watch things in english because you know these are the practical way if you are going with grammar reading books then i don't think you know it will help you as much as practical listening can help you so i always prefer the practical methods like watching things you know observing things listening to things yeah instead of reading books and you know reading grammar and knowing the tips of grammar rules of grammar somehow you can gather everything once you start you know feeling that language once you start emerging into language getting me or not so Uh, all together i want to tell you just uh, start listening cultivate a habit of listening and listen as much as possible because listening is a practice you can do at any point of time anywhere without any putting effort right so i feel like uh, start doing it right after listening uh, especially i feel like you should practice right practice like i you should uh, speak try to speak because listening is not sufficient yes i know now you have habit of listening you can listen all day long but unless you are not going to open your mouth right unless you are not going to use your tongue you cannot speak right speaking speaking comes from speaking it's you have to speak to speak right so that's why uh, i'm saying you after developing the habit of listening start speaking and imitate your favorite speakers right i i am not saying you to like copy everything but try to imitate try to you know understand like how they are speaking and never fake yourself right don't try to be other speakers because everybody is unique they have their own you know way of speaking the, the the way of you know articulating sentences so you have your own way so please be natural and go with your own way but you can pick up your few favorite speakers and you can listen to them because if you are listening to your favorite speaker then you will find one kind of interest and i always want to i always want to you know arise interest in you i always want you to be interested in listening and after listening practice and you during practice you can imitate your favorite speakers right and you can you know you can i am not trying to say you like copy them but try to understand like how your favorite speaker is speaking right and just to, uh, make your own way out of his way learn from him right that how you can be better how you can make your own way of speaking better right after that practice right i told you speak and speak and after speaking practice every day because habit you know putting a uh, a schedule putting a habit would help you to improve your english otherwise you know what happens we speak for 3 hours 4 hours 5 hours one 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 day and another day we feel like not speaking at all so there should be nothing like this you have to speak every single day uh, without it you cannot improve even you, if you are going to speak english for 24 hours some day but other day if you are not speaking for even a 15 minutes 20 minutes i'm um, damn sure you cannot speak english english is something which should be in your regular habit right it should be your uh, i mean uh, you know part of your day part of your routine part of your life right make it a part of your life just you make your partner like if you love a girl you make her part of your life you know uh, uh, you make her 
you can feel her right you can think about her always right you you get memory if she give uh, she had given you some beautiful gift then you can remember about that gift you know you miss her that in the same way you have to miss english you have to remember english you have to think about it always right just like make you just think about your girlfriend how do you think about your girlfriend right how do you love your girlfriend in the same way you have to love english to improve it to get better on it right so this once you are going to make english your beloved right you if you are going to treat english as your girlfriend i'm damn sure you are going to improve it there is no doubt about it yeah and uh, so you got that three basic habits apart from this habit you will have also do something right but i mean you know these are very crucial very it is core it is core habit and you must cultivate these habits right except these habits you need to focus on uh, your reading skills because reading skills is very important for improving your english uh, start reading every day i'm not saying you that just read books and you know like some story books right now you have lots of articles in your mobile phone you would have messages you know the articles messages and so many things are you know floating around on social media platform so like you can pick up your things of your own interest like if you love to uh, reading about some hero actor actress or something then read about it if you love global uh you know about global politics then you know read papers newspapers that is available on your mobile phone or even you can buy it from you know stores paper store newspapers right uh, if you love to uh reading a story books then read a story books if like i'm telling you just to search your interest in reading also like it interest could be anything your interest could be in actor actress politicians maybe in some gurus baba or anything whatever you like just go and read articles about them or about it right so this is the way of developing reading a skill and why you should develop a reading a skill i personally feel like when you are not connected with english then reading should be done every day reading helps you a lot to uh, improve your pronunciation improve your fluency because fluency also improves by reading books so read books and while you are reading read in loud voice you have to not just you know murmur don't murmur speak loudly read out loudly yeah because reading out loudly is going to help you a lot so do it after reading i will tell you please don't forget to write you can practice writing any point of any point of the day like if you are in office you can put a small diary and you can write about the work that you have done in your office every day if you are uh, a student then you can write uh, everything that happened with you during day if you are especially you know like a, a, a housewife then you can write about like household chores whatever you like you can write at least for 10 minutes 15 minutes at night at sleeping time you must have to write right because writing improves lots of thing like your grammatical uh, your grammatical errors will be corrected by writing you will also feel like you know you have lack of vocab while you are writing so you will focus on your vocabulary yeah so you are getting me or not like writing how writing affects you writing gives you idea that where you are lacking in your english once you sit for write you know you will feel like you have lack of vocab you have lack of grammatical uh, you know sentences you are making error in your sentences or whatever weakness you have you can easily overcome or understand by writing right so writing is very important to understand your weakness to understand like where you are standing in english so please start writing and what should you write you would be knowing whatever you want to write write okay if you want to write about your lover write a diary about it you know if you want to write about your mother write about her if you want to write about your father write about him if you write to want to write about any guru write if you want to write about actor actress whatever you are your interest is please start writing writing is important because writing brings you in a place where you can understand your weakness yeah it will figure out it will bring a way to figure out like where you are lacking uh, and where you should to Im uh, you need to improve where you should focus on right so please just start doing it and i'm damn sure you are going to do it
you are getting me now frequently asked questions and i'm going to answer like uh, some people always ask me sir how to improve vocab because you know vocab is the backbone of english um, more you know the vocab better your english will be and easier you will have you will have to speak in english right so knowing vocab is directly proportional of speaking english just start gathering vocab every day i have already told you how you can gather vocab because you know vocabulary is available everywhere you just open your eye and you will see everywhere there are words written like if you are walking on the road you can see words are written on the sign boards if you are you know passing through any a street you can see words are written on uh, everywhere on shops on your medicine uh, on clothes you know everywhere english is written so just now you need to focus like whatever wherever you are finding new words consult your dictionary try to find out the meaning of the word and use that meaning word in your own sentences for example i have told you several times and once again i am saying you that you found a new word like what words cottage okay so cottage is the new word which means jhopri right so you can use this word like you know uh people uh, sons live in cottages theek hai sadhu cottage mein rehta hai jo pri mein rehta hai or like you can make your own sentences to remember this word like cottage what is the meaning of cottage you can also uh, speak like sentence like there is a poor man who, uh, in front of my house he lives in cottage right so like you have to make your own sentences using this word cottage because you found this word right now and you know the meaning of this word cottage for example now you are finding new word like uh, charm right so charm means chamak like chehre pe so you can say you know there is charm in in, in his face or uh, like he is looking charmless now he has no charm like before so like i am saying you wherever you are finding the new word just use it use it in best possible way make your own sentences using it and you will see after using in your sentences this is very easier to keep remember right and remember all these habits are always like you will have to cultivate it you will have to work on it because everything's everything is you know difficult nothing is easier right you will have to cultivate habit unless you are not putting effort unless you are putting effort you cannot improve anything for example i have been putting effort you can go and check my channel you can watch my videos like how much effort i have been putting right so if sometimes if you are losing motivation and you are feeling like you know giving up things then go and watch my videos and i i, I especially recommend you to watch my all days all days videos like initial videos and find me how i was there and how i am today so always language is something like you will be making progress but you will not understand that you are making progress you are getting me or not what like sometimes i also feel like whether i am improving or not but when i go and watch my previous videos you know videos from last year or uh, last two years then i see like you know i have improved a lot i have made a, uh, a progress so you you have to also not worry about your progress if you are working then i'm 100% sure that you will improve and this is language even if you are speaking a wrong sentences you know wrongly then there would be there will be a time where you would be speaking perfectly good english because language is something which which take lots of practice and practice and practice and once you are practicing it is improving you know you you will not understand you will not realize that you are progressing you are improving but you are improving so uh, whenever you feel like you know you are not improving or giving up and anything like this then please go and check out my videos my all videos it is going to motivate you a lot and it will tell you like you can also do you know this is a very very easy job for you you can it is cup of your cup of tea you know you can also drink it easily right you are getting me or not so now it has been 19 minutes and uh, already you know 90 minutes session has been done now i feel like you know taking your questions uh, like before i take uh, your questions every day so today once again i will take your questions so please uh, start asking your questions and uh, now the question answer session starts from it has been already uh, around 20 minutes so 
please let me know first of all how are you doing and uh, how, where are you from i'm going to give you a shout out so please write your name whoever is present here and everybody write comment okay if you are here then please write your name and comment and let me know from where you are because i'm going to give shout out hi everybody are you alive are you here i don't think you guys are here i cannot see a single comment hello so please keep writing comments i think i have done something with comment hello yeah how things are going oh sorry like i think my comment section was off you have good skill to engage people okay thank you very much uh, so now yeah just wait wait yeah everything is fine now also uh, how things are going on yeah things are very well uh, yeah it is uh, i'm doing good you have good skill to engage people thank you hi sir uh, naim sharban hi everybody please yeah keep commenting keep writing your comment hi I'm from Karnataka. Somebody saying, "Okay, thank you very much for for joining me from Karnataka, Rupali, and uh, lots of people are here. Rupali, I can see you. Yeah, and I can see lots of people are mm, present in my life since long time. You know, from one and a half year, two years, and somebody uh, like Rupali is since beginning. So thank you, Rupali, for being with me. It has been long journey now, but you guys are with me. This is giving me lots of, you know." a uh, pleasure lots of happiness that you you guys are with me yeah so thank you everybody for joining me and uh, i think i want to give you shout out so please keep writing your name where are you from joining and after we are going to take adarsh kumar hi sir namaskaram namaskaram adarsh so oh, adarsh after long time no see adarsh thank you very much for joining me adarsh yes sir these sessions are helpful for me since 2020 thank you thank you rupali Uh, so yes you uh, your comments are you know binding me to come every uh, come live every sunday or uh, like uh, as many days i can come yes sir these sessions are how are you doing from from karnataka thank you i'm doing awesome you can see me you know how i'm doing awesome i'm doing really awesome thank you very much for having with me everybody i have been watching you for uh, one year you have helped me a lot uh, thank you fake <laughs> your name is fake okay but i have helped you fake thank you very much for joining me how long it will take time for yeah somebody is writing something hello what are you writing how long long it will take time for yes hi so keep keep writing your comments now yes you can ask me your questions yes i am here open to answer your questions So please, if you feel like asking any question, how long it will take time for getting fluency in English? To whom I will practice? Okay. Ah, uh, he R is asking how long it will take him to get into fluency, right? He R, I'm saying it depends on you. Like you know, getting into fluency is directly proportional to your hard work and effort that you are putting and interest. For example, if you are not interested in English, and listen, everybody, this question is very important for everyone because when we start learning English, then we feel like you know we are very confused about the things like how long it is going to take me to speak a fluent English, whether I am going to be fluent fluent or not, uh, would I be able to you know speak English or not, whether I would be uh, able to you know articulate sentences or not. So all type of you know lots of sentences lots of you know uh, things are going in our mind that whether we you are going to achieve your goal or not so let me answer this question this is very important question for everybody so listen to me you are asking question that how long it is going to yeah it is going you to get fluent right i'm telling you you know it is personal very personal it depends on person to person you would have seen like you know if somebody want if you have to go uh, to 20 kilometers somewhere right you for example like you have to drive 20 kilometers and you know that there is emergency then you drive very fast right and you put your all effort to reach there because you know like there is emergency or your beloved is uh, your beloved is you know like waiting for you and you know the responsibility that if you will not reach on time then she she would be not happy you know she would think what has happened to you she would be are uh, thinking you know a lot of thing like what happened to the him like he is right or not so like uh, then in this case like you will drive very fast you know urgency you know that your beloved is 
just waiting for you and you cannot delay if you are even going to delay for a minute you know she will be worried she will be thinking what has happened so you are going to drive very fast because you know your goal you know your urgency you know like you have to do it you have to do it and any coach you have to reach on time because your beloved is was waiting for you in the same thing happens with english if you are very eager i mean if you are very enthusiastic if you are very interested uh, and you know that you have to reach to your goal you have to speak english then you can achieve in very a small amount of time like six months you know even for six months a year two years but it depends on your energy your own enthusiasm your own interest your own like capacity right so it is very personal question but if you ask me then i am saying you we you can achieve all these things within 6 months now if you will say why not sir in 15 days no i'm sorry i cannot say that you can achieve these things in 15 days uh, if i will tell this it means i am putting you in a uh, uh, fake mindset okay so and i don't want anybody to put in fake mindset because you know it is language it takes time you'll have to evolve in it and after 6 months i am not saying that you will be a you know advanced speaker it will take you years to become advanced speaker but after 6 months you can speak english you would be able to speak english your fluency will be good right i'm saying this otherwise if we, i would say you know after 6 months you are going to be advanced speaker then i'm going to disappoint disappoint you and i do not want to disappoint you right i just want to tell you the truth that language is a long term journey you must have a time in your bank right you must give lots of time to it it takes time right so listen uh, you got how, whatever i want to say you just it depends on your own enthusiasm like your own mindset your own zeal your own passion like how passionate you are you know how much effort you are putting to speak it so yeah it totally depends on you but i told you you can even achieve it in 6 months but less than 6 months i do not say because you know it is language it will take you time less than 6 months uh, i know like people say you know they can teach you english just within 15 days or month or 3 months but i don't feel like this i do not want to put you in delusion i am telling you the truth yeah and for my case look at me i have been practicing regularly from last 2 years now 2020 21 22 like 3 years i started from may 2020 so whole 2020 2021 and 2022 now you know so 3 years now and you can see where i am so if you want to see see my progress then okay enthusiasm means uh, josh utsah right somebody is asking what is the meaning of enthusiasm right enthusiasm means josh utsah zeal so like go and watch my videos be initial videos and you can easily figure out like how i was and how i am today so you are getting me or not just do it oh so i'm going to take next question i hope that i have answered your question man you have been asking this question and i replied your question so hi everyone if you are here then please ask your question whatever question you have whatever doubt you have i'm here to clear your doubt sir how easily you communicate with tutors interesting way uh rupali you know like uh, it's uh, it's my nature like i make things easier yeah if you see me i am comfortable with any tutor of this world and i'm just talking naturally because you know i feel english is a language i'm not taking it as any big deal right people are making big deal out of it like they are thinking you know english is some thing which comes out from heaven and it is heavenly thing no it is not it is very simple thing right so it depends on uh, like you like how you are behaving with english just behave with a which english as a language and just understand one thing you can make mistake uh, it's it's okay to make mistake right and once you accept the truth like you ex- accept the truth that yes you can make mistake you then it becomes easier bit easier for you to you know relate with people to speak with people but when you think that no you have to not make mistake and when then you are going to talk with somebody i am damn sure you are going to make mistake now because that pressure of 
uh, that the pressure that you are trying to not make mistake is going to put you in pressure where you will make mistake now yeah you are getting me or not that pressure itself like if you are not trying to make mistake it will put pressure on you and this pressure will always going to you know uh, uh, it is going to make you in situation it is going to put you in situation where you are going to make mistake so please when you are talking with people when you are learning something accept the concept of making mistake just make your brain one thing uh, just make your brain realize that yes say your brain that you know i'm going to speak english and i can make mistake because i'm very new to it i'm learning it right now and it's okay to make mistake so once you are giving these you know things to your brain then your brain will feel okay your heart will feel okay and you will also feel okay and comfortable uh, about speaking english so i always tell you please don't worry about your mistakes just mistakes are the part of learning and just take it as a part of learning like you know roses comes with throne yeah you cannot imagine a rose without throne without a, a throne means you know kata what do we say a spike so you cannot imagine a rose without a spike if you want to if you want to see the beauty of rose if you want a rose blows if you want to blossom a rose in your garden just just you have to also look you will have to tolerate the spike around rose rose is not available without a spike so in the same way learning or learning english is, is not coming without mistakes or making mistake so if you are learning english you will have to make mistake that is sure and you should must accept this reality that while learning english you are going to make mistake right now please keep writing your question i'm going to take your next question uh, so yeah hi everyone uh, please be alive here if you are here and keep writing your question keep writing your comments so sometime i can book see your comment i can you know put you uh, there and i can answer your questions hi everyone so can you listen me if you are here then please ask me questions i'm available here for answer your questions and whoever is asking question his question will be picked up and will be answered so please ask me your questions if you have any questions hi everyone can you see me can you hear me i think once again i cannot see comment yeah okay thanks atan sir okay i don't know why my comment section got blocked once again sir i speak english by my english doesn't look good fancy how to okay yeah you know i always uh, i always uh, tell learners you know you will never be satisfied with your english because it is like our own desire like it is kind of uh, thing in ourselves just you see when you have wealth and even if you have ample amount of wealth you will be never satisfied with your wealth you will feel like you know you need more you need more and you need something more and that's why you know people go on searching more and more money in their life right same happens with english even you know how to speak english but you will feel like you know always you are lacking why because your english is different from others somebody else is speaking english from different perspective they have different kind of thinking or you know they they have different kind of mindset and you have different kind of mindset so when he is speaking you will miss something is missing from you uh, something is missing in your speech you cannot speak like him you will feel like he is better than you and it happens always so you when you are comparing yourself with somebody then definitely you would feel inferior but it doesn't mean that you should not compare you must compare because uh, unless you are comparing you cannot improve it is also fatter in fact you will have to compare to improve your english right uh, and comparing give you one kind of uh, you know realization that how much uh, improvement you need more right so it is good but i think you know comparing in negative way that you feel yourself like you know you are nothing your english is not valuable yeah it is not good at all that that negativity kills your your confidence so please don't feel anything like this always think positive about yourself and always look like where you have been and where you have come right 
so if you are working and uh, you you have been working then you can definitely see changes in, within yourself right and within your english so always focus on those changes and always you know try to try to get motivation out of that change right so please try never look uh, in negative way on yourself always try to work and work work and work never think negative about yourself right so just give positive vibe to yourself and all yes compare yourself but never compare in negative way i mean compare just learn and think if somebody is speaking better english just think that you have to also speak and get uh, a kind of you know set your boundary set your target but never think in negative way that you know yeah your, your english is not good you know and you cannot speak like them yeah you are doing blah blah things you know don't do this yeah because you are you and they are they so that's why i'm saying you never do this yeah always always just think about yourself and you can be better yeah that's what so please keep on commenting yes i'm going to take your comment hi everybody so go on somebody what is difference between are you getting me or not okay what is your question yes yeah, just wait for a while are you sure you want to stop no 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 just wait i'm getting something here yeah now everything is fine good explanation anand okay lelia vis lelia viswantam yes lelia viswantam is saying something yes so keep commenting yeah hi everyone so yes i am going to answer your more questions yeah i can take your more questions here so please keep writing your question and i so keep writing in a way that i can pick up your question good explanation anand somebody is saying right yeah sir uh, one more question to you to whom i will practice english everyone uh, surrounding me doesn't showing any interest to english i have seen at the beginning you was practicing through cambly now you know yes it is good question somebody is asking me one question sir with whom should i practice english right now see like uh, and he is also saying me that sir i have seen you you have been practicing with cambly tutor and you have someone to practice with but i don't have somebody so sir how can i practice this is your question let me tell you man i am practicing english three, since 2020 yes since 2020 i am on cambly or clapping or you know friends but do you think before that i was not working on english i have been working i'm telling you i have been not working the way i have been working since 2020 right but i have been as, as speaking so i am saying you I had no friends, but wherever I was getting chance to speak, I used to speak English in English. Like I remember when I visited doctor in 2016, 17. You know, I had very little English on those days. I couldn't speak even a, a single sentence correctly. But I remember I had so much confidence that you know I went to doctor and I I spoke in English and somehow I uh, able to you know. make doctor understand everything so that was something i really feel you know good about myself once i was in uh, 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 one you know one place in darbhanga and one of the friend one of the man uh, who was living in uh, australia from darbhanga okay so he came with his fr- australian friend in my city so uh, eventually i met him uh on some public place okay so i talked with that australian man in english with just few words i i didn't know how to construct sentences how to make sentences but i tried to speak with that australian man in english because i wanted to know about australia and his country and how he was feeling in darbhanga here in bihar and he was from australia first time i saw a foreigner in my my city so i asked him everything i remember i still remember he told me everything that his friend is engineer he has been living in australia 
so he has come here to meet his friend in bihar uh, he was from australia i asked about his weather like how do you feel about the weather in bihar and australia so he told me everything and i remember i had just few sentences in 2017 i think around or 16 i met that man so i am telling you what i am trying to say you it depends on your own enthusiasm on your own zeal on your own passion like how passionate you are so having friend or not having friend doesn't matter uh, yeah you the matter what matters is that if you got opportunity have you used it for yourself or not did you uh, speak or not when whenever you are finding opportunity did you speak or not you know and second thing if you are talking about friends nowadays it is very easier to find friends because we are on social media platform right now you know we can easily find somebody anywhere right like for example you can write in my videos comment section if somebody needs friend uh, for a spoken english or practicing english then contact me and you will see you know there are so many people like you who wants uh, who wants friend you know like you so he can contact you so just right just go in my video section and write like you know somebody uh, is available for me i want some friends and this that and yeah people will contact you you can find friend there so you are getting me or not if you don't have friend don't bother man like right now you can find friend easily anywhere at any point of time right please reply please keep writing you what is your question now so i hope i answered your question please bhaiya somebody saying yeah what are you asking sir see my question what is your question aditya ask your question aditya what is your question sir how uh, sir see my question yes please sir how your topic Yes, somebody is asking something, sir. How your topic or something like this? Wow. Yeah. Sir, uh, see my question, sir. How you explain any topic with intellectual way, which that conversation becomes an interesting as well. <laughs> you know, like it's natural. It's very natural in me. Like I, I just explain out of my own uh, way of speaking. You know, like I do not want to put something extra. Just I speak what I have to speak. So yeah that's uh, Rupali I do not uh, try to bring anything out of the box I'm just trying to bring something uh, from inside the box right so yeah that is very natural in me So yeah why is there any free application for practicing english like paid application yeah uh, recently I haven't used any uh like uh, unpaid application i have used only paid application but there are so many paid applications like you know you can see apps like uh, what is the name of the app uh, hello talk you know uh is fluency app hello talk and so many apps in play store you can go and check out but i remember few of them uh, like you know is fluency app or hello talk app so please go and check out if you want to uh you know find apps like this and if you are interested in it yeah please go with the next question why uh, is there free application as fluency is, is best sir yes i think as fluency is good app please go and use it like uh, you can also make audio call in free or i think with some coins uh, so go and check out these apps like hello talk as fluency one was or uh, uh like uh, in uh, there was only one app i'm not remembering right now so please go and check out about as fluency or hello talk app uh, you will find a way and uh, you will find that the, there are option where you can practice english we get 20 minutes free every day of uh, okay so you get 20 minutes free every day on as fluency app right okay then go and use that fluency app with whom you used to practice your speaking in beginning with nobody with myself like i used to write i used to talk about any picture i will hang picture on my wall and i will speak about that picture you know so i had different method and i have already told you listen to few methods and please go and apply it like put a paper on wall and you know just practice how to speak or uh, watching that paper seeing that paper on wall right so it will help you yeah you can use this method man 
now let me go with the next question yeah hello so hi everyone if you feel like if you feel like asking any question then ask me i'm here to reply your question because this live session will go for next i think 20 30 minutes you know more so you have a still opportunity to ask any kind of question that you want to ask uh, because i always believe that you know while you are learning you are confused with lots of question and little little questions so i'm sure if you will ask here then uh, you are gonna get answer of those questions sir Bhaiya, according to you what are the main benefit of learning english language you know like uh, uh, are you uh, leftist or uh, of liberal what do you mean by leftist and liberal liberal i am not left leftist i am not liberal i am universal yeah why are you thinking that i am leftist or liberal i am universal i don't have to be anything like this and don't be leftist don't be liberal okay i will tell you to become universal just accept this universe accept this existence and whatever this existence is giving it to you hum aha ke dhanyawad dai chi okay somebody is speaking mathly okay he is from mithila bihar who who is from mithila and where are you living are you in darbhanga or you are living different part of world please let me know somebody is speaking something in myth mathly या कहाँ से अं बताओ हमरा हम जाने ला चाहे हमार मैथिली से लगे खराब भग पहले से हम अहा के धन्यवाद करे रूपाली जी अहा कहाँ से ओ रूपाली जी हम मिथिला से छे हमरा अहा बतेलो नहीं कि अं मिथिला से छी डू सपोर्ट मोदी हे समबड इज पॉलिटिकल कमिंग हेयर वाई वुड एस why would i support somebody like modi or somebody i why wouldn't i support rahul i don't have any agenda to support anybody i and uh, i don't support like uh, I, i do not think actually supporting modi or supporting somebody right i'm busy with my business man yeah if you think about like why don't you think about your country it is your country man i think you know lots of people like modi are thinking about my country so i i do not need to think about country right yes in terms of something i think i think about whole universe i think about whole world right now and sometimes i i i feel like you know the things are not going like when russia and ukraine uh, war had started then i was very worried i was thinking about humanity like if somebody is going to use atom bomb then what is going to be yeah i am not uh, like worried about uh, uh, getting uh, i am not a uh, worried about worried about you know dying but i was worried about what is going to happen with humanity if even russia or ukraine or if somebody is going to use atom bomb right so i am universal i think more than above than modi why would i think about modi i think about putin i think about biden i think about modi all together yeah i don't think about only modi right why would i only think about modi i want to think about whole world right now we are on atom bomb sleeping on atom bomb waking up on atom bomb see we yeah you are pigeoning off on atom bomb everything is going on atom bomb right now you realize or not just you are sleeping that's why i'm awake and i can clearly see whatever activities i'm doing i'm doing on atom bomb and any anybody will just you know put a little bit of match stick whole world will be burnt right so why to think about modi if you want to think then think about whole world right now and yeah don't think about these single leaders right why how can i overcome to my fear speaking of practice okay i will come to your question so you got me like somebody was asking me where you support modi or somebody else i'm telling you like i'm supporting and unsupporting everybody right yes my work is universal not constant to any particular leader where did you improve english from basic yeah by myself man i'm talking with myself and this way i improved it you can also do it there is no big deal like you know i think anybody can do it you know there is not a a something a magical here or something you know heavenly here like anybody can do it by f- just going from basic uh, as201 what do you mean by please reply my question what is your question 
आनंद रॉक्सी ओके आनंद रॉक्सी वॉट इज योर क्वेश्चन आनंद रॉक्सी डू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन आनंद हाय आनंद रॉक्सी डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क मी यू नो नाउ डेज आई थिंक यू नो द वेडिंग हैज स्टार्टेड दीवाना हो गया आर गोइंग बिहाइंड मी सो I hope you would be not hearing and the sound would be not going in my mic. Okay somebody is asking something how can I overcome my fear for speaking English okay please reply my question Anand Roxy what is your question sir aha humble chi sir aha ke mum aha aha ke mumbai se chi okay okay aha mumbai mein rahe chi thank you thank you for joining me from mumbai धन्यवाद अहाँ के बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मुंबई से हमारा साथ जुड़ला के लिए जुड़वा के लिए हम आभारी छी जी अहाँ मुंबई से जुड़ल हमारा साथ सो यस समबडी इज़ आस्किंग कि दैट हाउ कैन ही इम्प्रूव हाउ कैन ही ओवरकम द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ और फियर ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग इंग्लिश नाउ सी लाइक फियर इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन थिंग एमॉन्ग अस राइट we fear is part of our life if you see like whenever you want to do something worthwhile you have to overcome your fear without overcoming your fear you cannot do right so i think you know man whoever have been doing things yeah they have they have the same like you think that i do not fear i also fear but what is different between me and others you know that i win over it i after have like i have also fear but what i do i walk on it i try to overcome it but somebody do not somebody does not right so same thing is with everyone like everybody has fear but one who try to overcome it one who try to win it one who knows that you know this fear is not useful for me i have to overcome it anyway i have to get rid of it they go ahead in their life right there only there is only a thin line between a brave man a fear man a brave man also become they also get fear but they have capacity to go out of the fear they have capacity to overcome fear they have capacity to you know take a step even he is fearing he he is also trembling but he has courage enough to go ahead to win fear that is only a difference between that is only a thin line between you know a brave man and a coward coward are also fearful and brave are also fearful but brave wins the fear but coward always remains in fear they just live their life in fear so don't be a coward just let me tell you everybody are fearful a bravest of man like if you are thinking about alexander the great he he was also fearful he had lots of fear of winning losing you know he was fearful but he used to win over his fear he used to make himself believe that you know i am going to win you fear you are temporary you are not permanent and i have to overcome you so this is a way to make yourself believe in yourself like you know and try to overcome this fear fear is temporary and achievement is permanent like for example right now i'm seeing you if fear is holding you back from a speaking english just think about it like how long how long you are going to wait how long you are going to spend your life with fear because if you want to make it better if you want to speak english then you have to overcome this fear now some day or the other some day or the other you have to overcome it right so why not you are trying to overcome it today right so always remember there is only a thin man thin thin line between a fearful man and a brave man that brave men are also fearful but they are capable enough to win the fear okay they are capable enough to you know go out of the fear yeah so just just try to win it just try to think in a simple way just take a things in a real way right i'm saying you man for example you also know that you know if you are going to speak english initially you will make mistake you know you will have lots of problem you will face difficulty but 
you are trying you are not trying to accept it you are just trying you are just thinking that you will speak just fluent english someday without practicing without going through these conditions of you know making mistake you are going to speak fluent english you don't you think if you are thinking like this then you are faking yourself you are not trying to put yourself in real situation so i always make you believe that please put yourself in real situation try to understand what is reality is it truth that you are going to directly speak english then your heart will say no you cannot speak directly you will have to work on it you will have to you know put effort so just go and put effort if you want to do it right so now please keep writing your question i'm going to take question you know it has been 55 minutes now and since 55 minutes i have been continuously speaking i have been live so please go on and speak speak and speak right hi everyone so are you here and do you have any question thanks thank anand roxy i hope that i replied your question and you will take it seriously like you know you will take a lesson out of it if you are trying to take lesson then you will take lesson out of it i'm not trying to say you any fancy thing like you know that giving you that motivational power or boosting that you will end tomorrow no i'm just trying to say you just look at the reality of your life reality of the things that you are going to do just look at the real situation if you are if you are trying to speak english then you will have to go through the process you will have to make mistake you will have to you know correct it later on so do it thanks thanks everyone so do you have any other question hi everyone do you have any other question if you do you have any type of other question please uh, write in the comment box i'm going to answer your question and I, i'm here to just answer your question so don't hesitate uh, don't feel shy don't feel anything like this and ask your question how to understand foreign accent now you are talking about how to understand foreign accent then i'm saying you you know foreign accent is something it takes time like you will have to listen to foreign speakers you know just to so keep listening keep listening you know how to understand foreign accent is the same question how much time taken to speak fluently okay i will come to your question everybody so like you know foreign accent or any accent it takes time so please you know keep on working on your accent keep on speaking try to speak as much as possible right so whether it is foreign accent or any accent uh, i i think you know you you will have to listen to those speakers speakers from foreign countries if you want to understand a uh, american accent then go and listen to american tutor uh, american videos like you know you can watch series in american american you can watch american shows you can listen to american speakers if you want to understand the british accent then go and listen to british accents you know listen things in british english so i mean uh, i mean you know like uh, if you want to really understand the accent then go with it and tell me one more thing if you are totally unaware, unaware of accent you are not able to understand accent then watch the videos with subtitle because subtitle will help you to understand english okay initially it is very difficult to understand any kind of english because of heavy uh, because of their own accent like i also remember when i had started speaking english i had lots of problem to understand uh, understanding american or american especially i could understand britishers lot more easier than americans because americans has lots of connected speech in their english uh, and they you know they connect uh, they connect uh, a speeches they take away few of the words and you know pronunciation and they try to uh, morph the sound and lots of they do modulation of sound so i had lots of problem to understanding them but once i started watching them again and again once i started you know listening to them i found now uh, that you know everything is becoming easier and comfortable day by day so just go and put uh, your effort just go and watch things in uh with different accents and you will feel you know day by day you you are improving and now you are understanding the accents easily uh and more than that there is one channel named Rachel English Rachel English okay you can go and watch that channel they she is breaking English 
and it's a small chunks of sentences and trying to make you understand how American pronounce words a specific sentence and you know things like that so please go and follow follow that channel I think that channel will boost your English that channel will help you a lot to understand the native speakers and how native speakers use their English right so uh, yes somebody else who want to SP, uh, ask any question please go ahead with your question I think you know I will take now a few of your questions only because uh, I'm feeling like you know as a uh, leaving this live session for today so please if you have any question and any more question please ask me i'm happy i would be happy to answer your question so what will be better sound american or british like you know i think your sound will be better don't try to you know pick yourself with any accent like british accent or american accent just try to just try to be natural okay but i'm saying you one thing that Try to speak clear English. Whatever English you are speaking, speak clearly that one can easily understand you. Uh, whether it is British or American or any other accent, just go and clear it. Yeah, speak a clear English. Don't bother about, you know, things too much. Yeah, I mean, and if you have really a desire of learning English, American or British, then choose or decide yourself which one you like. I, I do not think that... Uh, whether you should speak in American or British I, th I think you should speak in Eng English, just English, right? Your own English. Sir, what will be the better sound, American accent? But I can't understand native speaker. I'm telling you, you cannot understand native speaker. Even uh, I had problem and I think whoever speaks, uh, learns English in later on in their career or life, they have problem with accents, right? So don't bother about accent. Just go and watch it again and again. Go watch the same show again and again. And you will see that, you know, your accent is getting better. Now you are able to understand any accent. So please go and do it, right? Uh, yeah, you are getting me or not. So watch with any accent and I think, you know, you will improve things. Okay. So hi. Do you have any other questions? So please go and ask question. Sir, what will be better sound, American or British? I have already answered this question. So do you have any other question? Please, if you have any other question, then ask me. Hi, everyone. Are you here? Are you alive? Then please ask me more questions. I'm here to answer your questions, right? So please ask your question. Sir, native jaisa awaaz mai to nikal hi nahi paata hoon. Somebody is asking, Sir, native jaisa awaaz to mai nikal hi nahi paata hoon. Hey, see, if you are trying to be native, you cannot be native because they have born and brought up in such condition where their tongue movement, their vocal code is different from you. They have been learning since childhood, they are speaking since childhood. Their culture is different. But right now you are living in India and you are trying to become like, you know, Britishers or like native speakers. Then I don't think, you know, you are going to do it perfectly. Yes, even you are going to do 50, 60, 70 percent, you know, native speaker can easily understand that you are faking the sound you are not from his country you are other from other country so i felt especially like you know native native speakers love you when he feel like you are speaking natural english and you are not trying to fake their own their accent right i have especially talked with so many tutors i have asked about the uh, you know accent and they told me you know we love your own accent we don't we don't think and we do not like uh, try we do not feel like you know you should speak in our accent because we are american so that's why we have american accent we are living in america i have also talked with britishers they are saying you know we are britishers we are living in british uh, country so i have this accent but if you are india indian then you should have your accent what they want from you that your english should be clear enough that they can understand your pronunciation should be should be clear enough that they can understand it easily so they never try to put you in condition where you have to fake them right in fact they are happy when you speak your own english and just think uh, from your moral point of view also like you know when you are speaking the natural thing you are natural yourself then you will be more confident you will be feeling great within yourself right 
so i have seen so many speakers you know and especially from india pakistan bangladesh and nepal they will try to speak like you know britishers and you can easily see in them you know they are faking their sound is not natural yeah so what i want to say you like you know always make a natural sound yeah your sound is very like useful thing it is very um uh, it is basic ingredient ingredient for your audience and the people who you are talking with right so always go with the natural sound and be natural right i love if somebody is natural then so i feel like you know going now because it has been already 1 hour 5 minutes and i want to end up this session for today i'm going to join you next sunday as well so if you feel like joining me if you have any question if you want to ask anything then please join me on next sunday uh, uh yeah so uh, it is enough for today i am going to see you next sunday and bye bye for today see you again bye everyone